Hey guys, what's going on? Evelyn here. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. So guys, today's video is going to be a Legion pre-patch guide for Survival Hunter. Now I'm going to go through our staff priority as well as our talents. And then finally I'm going to go through the rotations that we have. Now obviously this will change at 110. A lot is subject to change. But right now there's only really one spec that I feel that's working. The rest of them aren't really too strong because as it currently stands, we don't have our iron talents at 110. So it is a bit of a struggle right now. But that being said, Survival Hunter is still doing pretty pretty well, and I'm actually at the end of the video I'm going to show you some 2v2 arenas I played as a Survival Hunter. Hope you guys will enjoy that, but actually let's just get straight into the guide right now. Okay, so the start priority for Survival Hunter is going to be versatility first, and then Critical Strike and Haste are kind of on the same level. I'm not too sure which way to go, but Crit obviously gives you more of a more heals and a bit more damage on your Critical Strikes. But haste gives you more of a quicker time on your flanking strike and your mongoose bite. So I guess both kind of like are about the same ish. So it's probably like versatility and then crit and haste are about the same level. And mastery being the worst style of the tree because 6.1% but 24% is really bad. Now that being said, we're just going to go into the talents. The talents I'm going to choose is throwing axes. And the reason I'm choosing throwing axes is because right now, currently as it stands, it's hard enough to get the way of the Mock Dorado. People are getting forced down. We don't have enough heals or anything like that to keep ourselves alive. In the tree with tree render situation though, way of the Mock Dorado is the best choice of the tree. But in most situations, throwing axes would be the best. So as it currently stands, Murder of Crows is the best choice on this talent because it's on a one minute cooldown and it actually does quite a bit of damage. Host Haste, definitely the best choice of the tree here, no without doubt. Giving yourself increased speed when you use Harpoon is always a great thing as well as freeing you from movement repairing effects. Steel Trap is probably the best bet outside Trivia Terrain that's because this does so much, da much damage it's not worth your while specking anything else. Now this one there changes a bit on level 75. Sticky Bomb probably the worst of the tree, don't ever spec this. Ranger's net or camouflage, it kind of depends on what you're doing. Uh, and in a dual situation, sometimes you might want to be invisible because the other person might not be able to go invisible and that means you can open up where a lot of dots before they even get the chance to see you. Whereas Ranger's net kind of works a lot better. It's coinciding against targets that you want to keep in sort of a root situation while you're watching them dart up and they can't get back to you. Like warriors or rogues if you throw a flare on top of them. But all in all, camouflage is probably the better too because it allows you to get a solid an opener. Uh, so honestly, of the two, I recommend camouflage, but Ranger's net might be a lot better, especially in the 3v3 range situation, which we'll explain in a minute. Serpent Stink by far the best here. A lot of people argue that Dragon's Fire Grenade is probably the best, but this thing is only over 8 seconds, where Serpent Sting is consistently up throughout the whole time, and you can reapply it. Even though it's just 15 seconds, you can press the button once, reapply it, it's done again. It's kind of like uh, Ren for a warrior in a sense, and I, I feel Serpent Sting is probably the best bear in any situation for here. Same with the last tier. Expert Trapper is just so good. Increases your still trap damage, increases your explosive trap damage, and it makes your freezing trap incapacitate targets and close their moon speed. Tire trap slows them down and roots them. Like, uh, pretty awesome, man. I just love tire trap for that situation because of this thing. Now, as for tree tree ridge situations, how would we change if you go to buy mock the roll in tree trees? And you would spec for snake hunter in tree trees, or depending, it really depends on what comp you're playing actually. Because a dot based comp, more across, would be slightly better, and more of a heavy burst comp, snake hunter would be better because you get more mongoose by charges, therefore allowing you to hit a lot harder. As for the 45 tier, nothing changes here for tree tree arenas. Tree trees, you might want to spec for improved traps for CC, uh, depending on what comp you're kind of playing, it could change at any point. But honestly, improved traps is definitely the best choice of the two here uh, in tree tree arenas. Next tier, Ranger's Net is definitely the best choice because it allows you to line up CC with your trap. Like, let's say you root the healer and then you throw your trap over, allowing you to get it on without them avoiding it or any sort of thing. On the next tier, Cerberus Sting is still the best for every situation and extra trappers. Okay, so with that being said, let's go on to the next part of the guide, which is pets. The kind of pet you want, you want to have a cunning pet because it gives you roar sacrifice and also you want to have a spider. And the reason you have a spider is, let me just show you this, is because spiders have a slow ability called web spray now like i said we're a point of a range kind of melee kind of, kind of thing so we need to slow targets where we're getting dots on then go back in and engage that kind of thing and that's the kind of style of play you want to play as a survival hunter it's a bit like a feral in a sense root the target after you've got your dots on carry around a bit go back in again do a bit more damage feign death 
root the target a bit more, come back in again, you know, back and forth, back and forth, just making sure you keep on top of them, you know. Now, that being said, let's get on to our rotations. Now, keep in mind before we get into these rotations that there is a few more rotations that will apply at 110, but currently as it stands right now, this is the only real rotations that are going to work for the pre-patch. So the first rotation is just going to be your basic rotation. Use Harpoon to the target, use your Lacerate, then use your Raptor Strike, then you would use your Flanking Strike, and then use 3 times Mongoose Bites. And that's pretty much it, then use your Flanking Strike again, then reapply your Lacerate, and then use Raptor Strike to reapply your Dot, and then Mongoose Bite, and then use your Flanking Strike again. That's pretty much the basic rotation, there's not much to it. Now obviously you have Carve and you get into an AOE situation and all you would do for Carve is you would stop using Raptor Strike after you applied one dot and you choose Carve instead throughout the AOE situation. Okay so next up is the Survival Burst and the way this burst is going to work is you can do it from Stealth or outside of Stealth but from Stealth is a little bit better because by the time they even realize anything you've already got 3 or 4 dots on them and they're pretty much already dead before they even pop evasion or anything like that. But at the same time it kind of coincides with in arenas you're not going to have stealth or in certain situations certain duels you're not going to have stealth like against rogues you're not going to want stealth because you're not going to get the advantage over them they're going to be in stealth no matter what you do they just have to wait your stealth out for the full minute or wherever they want and just open you up then so the route in that case will be a little bit different but at the end of the day the rotation is still going to be the same and the rotation is you're going to go into stealth and while you're in stealth you can use your harpoon then you're going to try a steel trap down you're going to pop your full cooldowns which is going to pop more of crows and aspect eagle then you're going to apply a lacerate use your raptor strike to apply your serpent sting then explosive trap and mongoose bite the target three times and then use your flanking strike and the target should probably be dead at that point Okay, so we're going to try to burst on a live target here. My friend Fluffy decided to help me out. So, Harpoon in. Still a trap. Hop cooldowns. Lacerate. Raptor Strike. Explosive Trap. And then three Mongoose Bites into a Flanking Strike. And it should kill a target. Okay, so now me and Fluffy are going to do some 2v2 arenas. Hope you guys will enjoy that. If you do, remember to shoot the video a like. I really would really appreciate that. Let me know you guys enjoy the content. And if you want to see more content like this, just smash that subscribe button. I really would really appreciate that as well. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. But anyways, as always guys, this is Evan Out. I love you all. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We don't be long, Making ladders out of cowboy sheets. We will be gone While we're counting stars They're counting sheep We don't all do rags Don't make a sound Just keep running and keep running And keep running In our heads we're ten feet Off the ground Just keep running and keep running Keep running and keep running
Do we go 